organizations are seeking to drive workforce engagement, particularly within their young talent, and improve their ability to respond to changing market conditions. Movitpik Hotel and Resorts uh, looking to do exactly that and also attract millennial guests, handpicked an XCOM Y committee, also known as the Shadow Board, in 2017. It comprised of 10 millennials, six of them hailed from their hotels in Dubai, in Pattaya, in Karachi, and Switzerland. And they also covered wide areas like front office, sales and marketing, quality assurance, branding, digital content, and strategy. Around the same time, the senior executive team had been discussing the need to create a booking app for more than a year. All the company's competitors had such apps, so it seemed like a no-brainer to develop and roll one out. The IT department had also conducted extensive feasibility studies. But just as the company was starting to look for vendors, the management decided to run the idea past the shadow board and they completely shied away from the idea. Why are you guys wasting your time and money developing an app? Nobody wants to download another app or remember another password. This was their feedback. Craig Cochrane, who was a senior vice president of talent and culture at that time, said that it was a really cool moment for them. He said, I don't know how much time and money we were spent going down the app route for no particular gain had it not been for the shadow board giving us that feedback so bluntly. Then the IT team, the commercial team, the senior management and all reconsidered their view and worked with the shadow board to create a direct web interface instead. What are some of the takeaways for you from this example? And where else have you seen shadow boards making a difference? Do share in the comments.